thanks for taking the time to have a quick look at the Dartrish TV demo. Here's what we're going to take you through in the next two or three minutes. So, what is Dartrish TV? Why does it exist? How does it help you? Who is it for? And then some information to find out more. What is Dartrish TV? Well, in its simplest form, Dartrish TV is a secure platform in order to secure your video analysis. So you take your video analysis, you load it onto the internet, but it's secure. And the best way of thinking about that is imagine loading it onto YouTube, but it's password protected. So only the people who you've given a password to can see your video files. So why does Dartfish TV exist? Well, to explain that, I'll give a typical scenario of a video analyst. So a video analyst will normally produce a highlights package of their last game. They'll probably produce four or five copies of that DVD. And then they'll either get in their car and drive to the manager's house. They'll both sit down, watch it, decide whether it conveys the right messages. And then the video analyst might need to go away and edit it. Now the problem with that is it takes an awful lot of man hours. The other scenario that tends to happen is a manager will ask the video analyst to produce a player DVD. So that could be their DVD of the player's last game and how well they performed or it could be a DVD of the man they're going to be marking next week and what he tends to do. Now the problem with that is obviously you're producing 15 plus DVDs, one for each player. And it's an enormous task in terms of man hours, in terms of distributing them, all that type of stuff. So how does it help? The primary aim of Dartfish TV is to save you time. To save the video analyst time, to save the manager time, the selector's time, and also the player's time. So th what happens is the video analyst still does his analysis with Darkfish, but instead of producing 10, 20, 30 DVDs, they can now upload that footage onto the internet. So let's have a look at Darkfish TV in action. So the first step to uploading the footage is the analyst obviously has to analyze the game. So you'll have seen in previous demonstrations, and for those who already use Darkfish, you'll have got to this stage pretty handily. Very quickly here's the process about loading it up to Darkfish TV. So I've selected here four kickouts that I'd like to upload to Darkfish TV. Really easy, I click publish, highlights, Darkfish TV, click next. It logs me into my secure setup. So there's my channel and there's the collection that I want to do it to. I click next, it's four events. I can add in my comments, so whatever I want to type in. And again, click next, next, and it begins to upload. Now, depending on the number of files you want to upload and where you want to upload them to, this process will take anywhere from one minute up to half an hour, three quarters of an hour if you're uploading a lot of footage. But primarily, it can take sort of five to ten minutes to upload what you need to. So here's my Darkfish TV station, and I'm going to log in. So I want you to imagine now I'm a, a player logging in to see those four kickouts. I might be the goalkeeper or a midfielder looking specifically at that. So I've been given a username, Toka Demo, and a password of... So now I'm logged in, and as you can see, here are my kickouts. And I very simply just click play, and up will load a very simple player, and it'll have the four or five kickouts that I want in there. Okay? So I'll pause it there, but you can see each triangle below represents a kick out. And I can work my way through them, watch them at my own leisure, without having to watch them in front of everybody else, with everybody else, anything like that. So either as a player, a selector, or manager, it saves you an awful lot of time having to meet the video analyst or look at DVDs or anything like that. It's online, it's totally secure, it's password protected. And finally, back to finish off, who is Dartfish for? Really, it's genuinely for any team serious about their video analysis. And even especially amateur teams who don't have 24 hours a day to be working on video analysis, presenting it back to their players. It's ideal for saving an awful lot of time. Finally, how do you find out more? Well, first of all, you can obviously contact me at the details that are on screen my email address, the website or my phone number. 
some things to bear in mind. It really isn't expensive. It depends on two things. One, the number of hours you want to store online, so how many videos you want to put online at one time, and how many people need to have access to that.